Lane Lufkin with the Kirbyville Wildcats. That's right, Lance. I'm out here in Lufkin checking out the Kirbyville Wildcats. They're here for game two, trying to move on into the playoffs. They're in the regional semifinals right now. In game one, you know what happened. They took out West eight to five. Now for game two, they're trying to go ahead and go for the sweep. And I caught up with head coach Craig Jones, and he told me these were the keys to the game before they can move on to the next round. We'll see what they do against our number three. You know, and, uh... We just need to, we need to put the ball in play, play uh, throw strikes and play defense. And Coach Jones said it pretty simple. They need to put the ball on the base and get back to defense. All right, now let's get on the field and check out some of these highlights. Bang, bang, bang. Shake, shake the, the baby. baby. If you're going to score a run, scratch your nose. All right, Justin Harry is top of the first. Justin goes right field. Ben Kelly runs the bases like a man possessed. Wildcats go up one to zero. K Nation out here strong. Let's go, Wildcats. Now heading to the bottom of the first pitcher, Kevin Rice, delivering the heat. MC Hammer, you can't touch this. Going to the top of the third, Tyler Brown going downtown with an air on West. RBI double. It's Christmas. You come home. Home, now you come on home too. Now did you plan on that? The head nod says yes. Bye bye! Bye bye! The West pitcher Tyler Calza had a long day. Brown on third comes home. Wildcats sweep West 4-0. And Rice had a game for the ages on the mound. Seven innings, ten strikeouts, no hits, and no walks. That does it all from Lufkin. Jay Russell, 12 Sports.